No, no. It, you so basically, you don't plug the microphone in. Oh, yeah. Hold the microphone up to them with the cable plugged in. Okay. Oh, we don't have the cable. Yeah, we need. Uh, yeah, but then I like, only brought one XLR cable. I'll do voices mistake. for them. You really want? Okay, you mm. really want to do that? Usually, I'm the one who's a lame idea like that, and you're like, no. <laughs> you gotta ask them good questions, though. I gotta ask them good questions. Yeah, hold on. Ask them questions when I can read the answer from down there. Okay. Let because me, that means let me I study have to each these. one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Maybe we should just only do one of these. You ready? Hold on. I gotta study them some more. It's harder than Wikipedia. It's not as well written. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should do someone. Are easier. you ready? No. This was your idea. Hold on, I gotta read it again just to be sure. So we, it'll be smoother the more I study it. Okay. It'll come out better the more I know. So Jose. Yes. What do you think of Scott's ridiculous plan for me to interview you as a statue? Well, you know, Scott is quite intelligent in his ways, and uh, I always need more people to interview me. <laughs> I'm just standing here bored all goddamn day. Finally, I have something to do. Thank you, Scott. So when you were living in San Antonio, what was your job before you joined government and other offices? I just managed a general store and sold the nice things to all the convention goers, like Ricola and camera film and batteries and Red Bull, you know, <laughs> helping the people out. Do you really want me to keep doing this? Yeah. Did you or did you not sign the Texas Declaration of Independence? I did sign the Texas Declaration of Independence. And how did you fact. feel about that? It was tough, fucking awesome. I hate Mexico. Even though my name is Jose Antonio Navarro, I was surprisingly pro-Texas. So you did live through the American Civil War. How uh, did you feel about the American Civil War, Jose? Uh. I didn't really care about that. I cared about beating Mexico's ass. Didn't care about the Civil War that much. Didn't care about the Civil War? You had no, no thoughts at all on slavery? No thoughts at all on I mean, Texas being independent of all these states, not just the South? Well, yeah, I mean, come on. It's, you know, those people over there, not Texas, fighting each other. I hope they just all died. It's all about Texas, bro. Your accent is really interesting. Why do you sound like a New York Jew? Because I am a New York Jew in disguise. <laughs> yes, Jose That's why I was Antonio fighting against those Navarro. <laughs> <laughs> what year were you born? 1795. What year did you die? 1871. Crap, you read that part already. Yes. Do you want to move on to another statue? You can do one more statue. <laughs> 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 do we have to use this statue? No, we got to do the awesomest statue. The awesomest statue, the astronaut? Yes, the astronaut. So, Edward Higgins White II. Yes. How is space? It is amazing. You have never been there. That is why I'm a greater person than you can ever hope to be. How is the temperature in space? It is cold. Cold <laughs> as a witch's tit. But thankfully, <laughs> I was inside a Gemini space capsule when I was up there, and it was not cold inside the capsule. Well, it wasn't as cold as, say, New York in January. How do you feel about the circumstances of your death? Uh, it sucked, but listen, space is a dangerous fucking place. Uh, uh, you didn't die in space. Well, I died in a fire inside a spacecraft. That is true. That is true. That is true. Going to space is a dangerous endeavor, and that is what makes me a badass. I took those risks. You would not even be daring enough to get into the capsule. I went in and went into space. Are you space. kidding? I spent most of my childhood wanting to go to space. In a fake space simulator. <laughs> I went to actual goddamn space. Suck my dick. <laughs> Suck it. There is a zipper in the spacesuit, which is kind of yes, weird. Yes, that is for the sucking. So, Mildred, where did you get your nickname, Babe? Uh, because, uh, did it even say that on there? Uh, Mildred Babe. Does it say where she got the, the nickname from? No, I asked. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I asked her that? Why would we interview someone about something that everyone already knows? You ask a question <laughs> that people don't know the answer to. Where did Mildred get her nickname? I don't, can't think of a funny answer for that right now. <laughs> Maybe because it's I'm so sexy? I don't know. All right, fine. What do you think of golf? Golf is the best sport that you can do after you're old and can't compete in real sports anymore like the Olympics. Biting commentary from Mildred Babe did Rickson Zaharias. Yeah, even when I was mad old and had cancer, I was able to win at golf. <laughs> when well, the well, US got In 1932, in the Olympics, you won gold medals in javelin and the 80 meter hurdles. That was because I was mad young still. How did, you, how did you train for the high jump? By jumping a lot. <laughs> I didn't have to go to work because women weren't allowed to work in those days, so I just spent all my day running and jumping. How do you feel about the fact that you seem to be one of two women in this hall of heroes? I'm glad that in the state of Texas that there are at least two women, even though it's not 50% as it should be. 
Two is a vast improvement over the times when I was alive. So the most important question I got here, where the fuck can I get a good breakfast in this town other than Shiloh's? You can join the country club where I played golf and get great meals three times a day. Oh, yeah. What was the name of that country club? Uh, big ass place in the middle of Texas where they play golf because there's plenty of golf courses out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we're done with this. <laughs> We should make this, take this engine. And you know what game we should make with it? TIE Fighter? Sinistar. Oh. Run, coward. You can just see it on the horizon. Oh my god. And it comes for you. You've got to like get to an asteroid and drop Marines to go mine it. Yeah. Like Marines are fighting on.